What's up guys, it's your boy John and we're back again with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Android Auto, wired and wireless, and how you can have it working on your Android phone, which is super nice. And this is all out of the box. This is a uh, head unit from Decida, but uh, if you have something called Z-Link, you'll be able to have this feature. It's already built into this one, and most Android head units that are higher end have it too. So Z-Link is what you need. Before we get into the setup, what is Android Auto? Android Auto is using your phone, such as text messages, Spotify, any apps that are on your phone, and have it on your head unit display, which is super handy. So here I have like scanner radio, Spotify, VLC, Waze, but if you had other things like Pandora and like mostly music apps, then it'll be over here. Also GPS apps, hence there's Waze too. And it just the user interface is very car friendly, um, which is nice. You got your maps and stuff like that. Uh, so let me just click on that. And then you have your maps. So when you put your directions into your phone, it actually just it just pops up right there. When you get a text message or something like that, it just pops up right there. So everything is very hands free. And when you're driving, it makes it very very nice. And you also get some stuff like temp uh, weather temperature. Your, your Wi-Fi signal, LTE, and your battery life right there, which is my battery. It's an explanation mark because it's a little bit low right now. But yeah, so Android Auto is really cool, and it's a, it's a nice, uh, luxurious feature and safe. Rather than using your phone GPS and have it mount and stuff like that, have it on your, uh, your head unit. It's a no-brainer, and it's better than pretty much all uh, manufacturers' uh, GPS system. Now comes the setup. So you have to make sure your phone is up to spec and it meets the minimum requirements. Most phones nowadays, if you have like a Samsung, even like a S6, S5, like an older phone, it'll still work. You just have to have like a, a, a newer version of Android. Uh, I think like Oreo or something like that or KitKat it will be able to work. Uh, you need to have a USB, which the Android head units all have. And you need to have uh, fast cellular connections that way you can talk it's pulling data from your phone and it's spit pulling data from your phone and it's spitting to the head unit so you need data in order to um display spotify of course and stuff like that and uh on your android head unit side so your phone it's pretty easy minimal requirements uh on your head unit side you need something that has android auto and apple carplay uh built in so this app right here is called z-link most head units uh, Let's see if I can go back. So this is called Z-Link. Most Android Auto head units that are from Decida that have Android Apple CarPlay will use Z-Link. Same with um, other brands. Uh, this is a very popular and uh, the kind of the go-to. So you ha make sure you have Z-Link, and you'd have to have the latest firmware. So let me just disconnect this real quick so I, I uh, disconnected on my phone you need to have the version 4.0.6 and uh, that version will allow you have Android Auto wireless now these icons if you guys don't know what it means this one is wireless Apple CarPlay this is wired CarPlay this is wired Android Auto and this is wireless Android Auto and if you don't have the latest update you can go ahead about and then you should be able to check for updates right there and um, this mode right here it doesn't say it has uh, Android Auto Wireless but as you witness here my phone wasn't connected and um, it worked without any issues so you need version 4.0.6 so I just turn off I'll turn on back my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and my phone as you can tell um, no wired or anything it says Android Auto has connected to your car, but we're gonna uh, delete everything so we can start fresh for you. The first thing you wanna do is go to your Bluetooth on your Android head unit. So there's Bluetooth, A2DP, you wanna go to Bluetooth. You wanna go to your uh, settings right here, put in your pin information. So mine's gonna be called the NSX. Uh, my pin number is 1991. Um, and then you can do those features too. You wanna hit the search icon right there. After you hit the search icon, so let me just delete this off my phone. So right now it's hooked up to my OnePlus phone. I'm gonna delete it. 
So it's basically a fresh install, which is great. So it's searching right now. And now I'm going to pair a new device on my phone. And it's also searching. So I'm looking for the name I put in the configuration, which was NSX. Connect to it. And now it's connected to it. Sometimes um, it will ask for a PIN number, but that time it didn't. So after you do that, you're pretty much good with the head unit. All right, after we finish the Bluetooth setup, so now my, my car and my phone are talking, uh, car head unit. You go settings, every, this is the settings that I have. Uh, I know it's a little bit out of focus, but it says phone calls, media audio, and contact uh, sharing. Next thing you want to do is go to the Google Play Store and download an app called Android Auto. So, so it's going to be uh, this one right here that says Android Auto, Google Maps, and it's going to look like something like this right here. What's new? Works great, no issues. That's my review. <laughs> All right, so after you download Android Auto, you want to click on Android Auto app in your drawer. This is going to pop up how the layout's going to look like. You want to hit that hamburger icon and then go to settings. Now it's going to pop up Android Auto settings. But before we mess with these settings, I want to go to the very bottom and hit this version thing that's popping up right now. You want to spam the version number a few times. Uh, after you spammed it, like just keep clicking on it. It says, do you want to have development settings on? You do, so you hit OK. And you hit these three little dots on the top right. Go to developer settings. And make sure, I know a lot of people have this issue, that's what I'm just mentioning right now. You want to have add wireless projection to settings right there. And you can do all these other settings right here where you can just force it to night mode if you like night mode, save audio and stuff like that. But for the case of this, you have to make add wireless projections to settings. That way it can um, well project wirelessly to your Android head unit. After you do that, this is where um, you're going to have to use that USB cable. So I have a USB cable ready right here. Let's turn the car on. All right, so when you first plug in your phone, you're gonna be greedy with this screen. It says, what will Android Auto do? Uh, contact uh, your contacts, pair it, sync it, allow all the stuff. You wanna hit continue, then all the more permissions. I, I allow all of it, but read through it. And after you hit continue, you're going to have it project on here. Let me just get rid of that because it's my address and stuff like that. So you have Android Auto wired, which is really simple. You just plug it in. It works. You have it right here. You got your Spotify. Um, so um, let's not play any songs or anything. So what about wireless Android Auto? So with wireless... It's a little bit trickier, so I'm going to unplug it, it instantly disconnects it. But you want to go to that Android Auto app we looked about, we installed earlier. You want to go to that hamburger menu, settings, and it says wireless Android Auto is available. Now here's the kicker right here, make sure you're not on battery saver mode, because I noticed that that kind of ruins it. You want to scroll down, make sure Bluetooth is on, wireless Android Auto is on. Um, you can turn this off. But after those settings are on, um, the best thing you can do is um, restart the Android Auto app. I, it's kind of weird, but that's how you have to do it. But after you do that, you shouldn't have too many issues. All right, so my phone is resetted. Um, let's, go. let's see if it's gonna hook up to wireless Android Auto. You connect this, open that app. It says waiting. It's looking for Android Auto right now, and 
there you go. So after you restart your phone, sometimes you don't need to, but after you restart your phone, it should work. And um, it is sometimes it doesn't, uh, it's a little bit buggy, but um, the main takeaway is you need to have Bluetooth on. Um, let me see if I can get that in focus for you. So you need to have Bluetooth on, which is connected. And then you need to have wireless, uh, your Wi-Fi on too. Notice that it says Android AP381. That is not my Wi-Fi. That's actually the head unit opening its own little network so they can talk to each other. So that's how I, it works. Now let's see um, the Android Auto app. So I open it. You can't open it because it's already open right here. Uh, yeah, so that concludes the tutorial. It's um, not too bad, honestly. Um, the main takeaway is have those minimum requirements when it comes to your phone, which is I'm pretty sure most people have the, the minimum requirements because it goes back pretty pretty far back. Um, your head unit needs to have the latest Z-Link. So if you guys want an update on your Z-Link, uh, I'll make a video on that on how do you get you guys can update that. So that's going to be very cool. And uh, you'll be able to have this even if you don't have the latest head unit from 2021. It's going to be, uh, it's still, it'll still be able to work too. So Android Auto Wireless, very cool. Um, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at 1%. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my battery is pretty low. Having it plugged in does have its benefits. You're charging your phone. Uh, but there's something to be said if your phone's in your pocket, and you walk into your car and you already have Android Auto. As t in terms of responsiveness, um, it's a l it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's uh, it's decent. Uh, wired connection, I would feel it's it's a little bit smoother, but um, you guys kind of see that right there. It's not bad. It's uh, you know I would say I give it like a seven out of ten. Wired would be uh, the best case scenario. Uh, that would say that would be like nine out of ten. So this is very doable and it's wireless so it's super convenient. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my Android Auto wireless setup for Android head unit. Now if you had Apple CarPlay wireless or Apple CarPlay, it's, um, it's actually easier. You don't have to do any of Android Auto stuff that you had to do on this phone. You're literally hooked up to the Bluetooth and you're done. Now, Android boys, and unfortunately, you have to go through your settings a little bit. Um, sometimes you don't, which is weird, but um, if you are having issues, make sure you in, uh, enable that developer settings and have wireless projection on. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.